All right, so this is my first tall rocket. It's about 50 inches tall. Um, pretty big beast. Uh, and it's got what's called a C11 engine in it right now. Same size as a D engine. But uh, it's a lot less power so that hopefully it won't go up too high. Teeny bit windy. So we're gonna hope that this thing doesn't get lost on its first launch here. But I'll do the countdown and we'll get her ready to go. Let's see here. Three, two, one. Wow. There she is. It's working. And the wind is carrying it where I thought so. This will be a fun little go run and get routine. <laughs> it's going right over into the ravine. Which is kind of where you want it to go. It's nice and soft. Let's see if I can catch it on its landing. Alright, safely at the ground. I'll go show you how well, it survived. Coming up on it. Like the uh, blue parachute, definitely helps you be able to see it. Um, yeah. Let's see if I did any damage. I doubt it because it's such a nice soft area. The nose cone looks fine. And all the tail stuff looks fine. There we go. Inaugural launch of the beast. Well, I thought why not give you a little tour of the rocket after the launch here. Now that it's all apart. Um, I actually just used some um, gift wrap tube, about one inch thick, a couple of them together, and I used a toilet paper tube that I wrapped a little bit smaller to make a nice fit, and I used some tape around it to cinch the fit in there really nice and tight. I um, used a, <laughs> a little vinyl shower curtain I got at the dollar store to make the parachute about 20 inches. Then I made some balsa wood fins. The motor mount's actually made out of... Uh, a toilet paper tube as well that I just wrapped tight and then used some cardboard as a little rings to shove it in the tube there. Um, and then I used a balsa wood nose cone and then used some uh, some putty to fill in the gaps so that you and sand it. And then I um, faded from a metallic blue to a black at the end. And anyway, nice and easy. This stuff I got, it's like a rubber band material but it's cloth. Uh, as well, so it's nice and stretchy, good shock tube, and that's all there is to it. Nice and easy.